Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Nitro 16. AN1672. To have a sneak peek at the internals, you have to unscrew 11 Phillips head screws. After that, you can easily pop up the backside by carefully lifting it while holding firmly the two plastic exhausts on the back. Don't push too hard because you can break the plate close to the LAN connector. Use a thin plastic tool to pry the left side, the front, and the zones around the Ethernet port. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery isn't fixed to the base with screws, because there is a dedicated socket for it with soft padding on the inside of the bottom panel that fixes the unit to the chassis. The battery here is a 90.61 watt hour variant. To take it out, detach the connector from the mainboard and lift it away from the chassis. The capacity is enough for 7 hours and 9 minutes of web browsing or 5 hours and 53 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Balanced and Optimus modes in the Acer NitroSense app. Memory-wise, there are two SODIMs for up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 MHz RAM in dual-channel mode. It's nice to see that the memory modules are additionally cooled by a dedicated thermal pad for each stick. For storage, there are two M.2 slots for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. Our laptop has a pair of 2 terabyte NVMEs that work in RAID 0, and they are crazy fast in this mode. The cooling seems potent. It has two fans and a duo of heat pipes shared between the processor and the video card. There is another pipe for the CPU and two more dedicated to the GPU. We can also spot two large metal plates and four heat sinks.